checkmate. Damn it! You won again, Dad! That's 14 trillion to... zero? I never win! Don't sweat it, son. It just sort of happens when you're omniscient. Yeah. But I never thought being all-knowing would have its disadvantages. For one, I'm bored out of my non-corporeal mind. I mean, here I am, an all-knowing deity, deserving to be worshipped and praised, just floating aimlessly in the spirit world for all eternity, with only my Holy Spirit and Son to keep me company. We need some excitement around here. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I'll create heaven. Yeah, uh, I'll make a few weird creatures and put them in there. And, um, uh, a few special, special beings to worship me. Yeah. I'll call them, uh, angels. Ah, yeah. Well, here we are in our new home, boys. What do you think? Wow, this is bitchin', Dad. Yeah, but I can already tell this is going to get old after a few thousand years. Every moment, just like the last. Praise, worship, praise, worship. Praise, worship, praise, worship, praise, uh, worship, Dad? praise, worship. What? Oh, I just lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, okay. I've got to do something to spice it up around here. Um, come on, think, Yahweh, think. There's got to be some way to bring some excitement into this infinite triune monotony that is my existence. Okay, I've got it. Um, I'll make uh, a universe and uh, I'll put physical things in there. Yeah, I'll make trillions of balls of burning gases to provide light and... Uh, Okay, let's make trillions more of these little chunky round things and, um, let's call them planets. Yeah, and, uh, I'll populate one of those trillions of specks of dust with, um, uh, let's call them creatures. Yeah, beings that can uh, move around and maybe get into some trouble. Dad, what if you made them eat each other? I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, that, that should prove interesting, um, at least for a couple of weeks. Hmm. Oh, come on. I can do better than that. I'm God for crying out loud. Uh, okay, okay. How about in addition to these creatures, I'll make smarter creatures. Creatures that can actually think and learn. They can learn right from wrong. Uh, creatures that can communicate abstract ideas. Creatures smart enough to understand me. I'll uh, put them in a place with lots of fruits and vegetables. And um, I'll be their god and, and um, I'll commune with them. Heck, I'll even materialize in physical form and, and walk with them. Yeah, now that would be pretty interesting. At least uh, for a couple of weeks. Hmm. Nah, that's not going to work. Jesus Christ. Yes, Dad? No, no, I, I was just, uh, I was just talking to myself, um, okay, I've got it, I've got it. What we need is some drama, some conflict, some uncertainty, yeah, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, I'll put a tree in there and tell them not to eat from it. Then I'll trick them into eating from it so I can punish them severely and kick them out of the land of fruits and vegetables to see what they'll do. That should really make for some interesting scenarios. But how am I going to trick them without them knowing it's me? Hiya, boss. <laughs> Why, Satan, so nice of you to stop by. Look, I've got a little job for you. Cool, what is it? <laughs> you aren't afraid of snakes, are you? 